So for right now with its positivity rate above 5%, Howard County is placing more restrictions to help slow the spread of the virus. Starting Friday at 5 o'clock, no more than 10 people can be indoors for gatherings and outdoor gatherings must be capped at 25 people. So this includes weddings and recreational sports. Some things are still excluded like retail stores, offices and religious gatherings. The county is also canceling upcoming tournaments at parks and recreation facilities, but but it will continue to operate child care programs at current capacity. Here uh, with coronavirus cases continuing to rise here in Maryland, despite restrictions in place, Governor Larry Hogan decided the focus now needs to be on enforcement. He announced an education and enforcement operation. WMAR 2 News is Aaron McPherson joining us live from Towson with a breakdown of this plan. Aaron, how will this work? Well, the goal is to hold businesses and people accountable, making sure they are all following the mask mandates and social distancing properly. So starting tomorrow at 5 p.m., state troopers will be deployed in every county throughout the state to enforce these COVID restrictions. Governor Hogan decided on Wednesday, since it's a popular drinking night, Thanksgiving Eve, especially for college kids coming home for the holiday. The focus on Wednesday will be on Towson, Bel Air, and throughout the city places typically packed the night before Thanksgiving. Now, after that, the operation will continue. Hogan said it will be similar to the ramped up drunk driving enforcement we see during this time of year. Troopers will just be making sure bars and restaurants are following curfew and capacity restrictions, and people are masking up indoors as well as in public places where social distancing is not possible. Hogan stressed this is in an effort to save lives while keeping businesses open. He still encourages people to continue to support local businesses. Businesses and individuals who blatantly violate the public health orders and refuse to follow state law are not only willfully endangering themselves, but their family, friends and neighbors as well. Hogan is asking for your help in this effort by reporting any unsafe behavior. The state is launching a 24 seven hotline and email to support compliance in the field, and you can expect an alert sent straight to your phone tomorrow with the breakdown of how these local law enforcement is going to enforce the restrictions as well as the COVID safety measures in place. Live in Towson, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.